what is up guys welcome back to the Ange predicts youtube channel i'm Ange, and i predict stuff if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe with the bell on if you're looking to access my premium parlays for each sport i cover as well as premium picks and betting strategies become a member of my channel today by clicking the join button at the bottom of the video what is up guys welcome back to Ange's daily picks guys for today Thursday, December the 14th, 2023. In this video, guys, I will be going through my picks for today and I will be explaining why I take them, guys. Please note that these picks are subject to change based on injuries, news, and other factors. So please watch each individual videos when they are up. All right, guys, let's get right into the action. All right, in the NHL, we have the Capitals going up against the Flyers, guys. The Flyers have been really impressing me uh, lately. It's really tough to play in Philadelphia, guys. Like I said, these guys could hit. Uh, like I said, the crowd uh, in the stands is very scary, too, and intimidating. I'll take the Flyers on this one, guys. Blue Jackets versus the Leafs. Leafs at home, guys. Very good record. Uh, these Leafs could score a lot of goals. Austin Matthews is hot. Uh, Blue Jackets could also score, guys. I mean... Uh, Maybe they might not win a lot of games, but they get goals in. I see this going over the additional total of over 5.5. Hurricanes versus the Red Wings. You guys already know that the Hurricanes are not the best team on the road. However, they did win their last game uh, on the road. So they're going up against a Red Wings team that has been slowing down despite getting Patrick Kane. Uh, I, I just I can't really choose a side here, guys, but I do know there will be goals. I'm going to take the over on this one, guys. Flames versus the Wild, guys. Uh, the last time these two played, the Wild won 5-2. to two. The Flames have been playing uh, quite impressing in the last few games. But honestly, guys, I'd rather be with the Wild on this one. I'll take the Wild on the money line. Centers versus the Blues. The Blues just fired their head coach, Craig Berube, guys. The one that they won the Stanley Cup with. Uh, listen, guys, there's going to be a lot of pressure for these Blues at home to, to win. With their new coach, I just don't see that happening. I'm taking the centers plus 1.5 against the spread. Bolts versus the Oilers, guys. The Oilers are really starting to pick it up. Uh, like I said, winning a lot of games since they started, uh, I believe, like six or five losses in a row or something like that. Uh, listen, both of these teams are over teams. I have no problem going with the over on this game. Blackhawks versus the Kraken. The Kraken actually demolished the Panthers 4 to nothing, guys. And that's a big feat, honestly. The Panthers are a hot team. Uh, and these blue, the Blackhawks, they, they drop to the Edmonton Oilers. I just don't see how the Blackhawks get the W on this one. Even though they did beat the Kraken the last time they played them. This is a different time, guys. There's a lot less players for the Blackhawks. Give me the Kraken on the money line. Panthers versus the Canucks, guys. Two teams that could score a lot of goals. You got the Kachucks. You got the Kuzmenkos. You got the Hoglanders, Bessers. Peterson's uh I do like this game to go over however just to be safe I'll take the over 5.5 additional total next up guys we have in the NBA we have the Cavaliers going up against the Celtics this is a uh rematch I would say they did play each other I can't remember when it was I think it was last week or something recently and the Celtics did get the upper hand Listen, guys, if Mobley is still out for the Cavaliers, I still do like these Celtics to take this one. Bulls versus the Heat, guys. Uh, listen, I, the Heat, I don't like to bet against them. They just, every time uh, they have injured players, they still manage to push through. We went up against a Bulls team that I just can't see a lot of points on the board. These two teams are under teams. Give me the under. T-Wolves versus the Mavericks. Contrary to the Bulls and the Heat, guys, these two teams are over teams. I mean, monster uh, scores that these guys put up. It's going to be a nice matchup. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to lean towards the Mavericks, but the T-Wolves, like I said, they're healthy. They've got a lot of players. I'd rather take the over on this one. Nets versus the Nuggets. Nets, two games in two nights, guys. Uh, they're playing, I believe, the Knicks. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. As we're recording this, I don't know what happens with that. The Nuggets, they're at the, in their element at home. Uh, listen, I don't like the Nets back-to-back. -back. Give me the Nuggets to cover. Jazz versus the Portland Trail Blazers. I'm not sure if Markkanen or Clarkson is going to be playing for the Jazz. That is a big factor, guys. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm assuming they might be back. Uh, and if they are back, 
I think they might have the upper hand over the Portland Trail Blazers. I don't know who's the favorite. To, we'll see tomorrow, but for now, I'll go with the Jazz. Thunder versus the Kings, guys. This is going to be a game to watch. Uh, out of all these games, it's definitely a game you want to tune into. Uh, both of these teams have been hot. The Kings, especially with uh, the Aaron Fox back. At, the ho at home, they're in their element. Definitely going to be putting up a lot of points here. Uh, but honestly, guys, I'll probably be going with the Thunder. Uh, it depends. It, we we got to see basically if they're going to be the favorite or not. But for now, I'll probably take the Thunder against the spread. Warriors versus the Clippers, guys. Uh, the last few times these guys played, it was a close matchup. Uh, I think the first time, if I'm not mistaken, the Warriors got it. Then the Clippers won by one point. I do like the Warriors in the underdog position here, guys. Give me the Golden State Warriors against the spread. All right, next up, guys, for the NFL, we have one game, Chargers versus the Raiders. Herbert is out for the season, guys. Not a good look for these Chargers. The Raiders are a team that are rising, especially since they made that uh, coaching change. I like the Raiders to cover the spread, guys. College basketball, we have, I believe, four games in Division One, at least. We have the Gamecocks going up against Wisconsin. Listen, I love these Badgers. They've been playing so good, especially uh, last season. Uh, they're at home in their element. They went up against a team that's, pro I, I believe, Division Two, not, not as strong for sure. Give me Wisconsin to cover. Next up, we have the East Carolina Pirates uh, versus Florida. Listen, guys, I have a hard time choosing. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I have a hard time choosing a side. I do think these teams definitely put up points on the board. It's going to be a close one. I would rather take the over. Furman versus Tulane, guys. Furman's 5-5. Five five. Tulane, I believe, is 6-2. and two. Uh, They are at home, guys. Uh, Furman is definitely a team that's maybe not part of the main big uh, colleges, in my opinion, guys. I think Tulane will be able to cover on this one. Tommies versus Marquette. Uh, listen, guys, this isn't, this isn't a hard one. Marquette's a monster team, especially at home. These guys uh, are just magic. I'll go with Marquette to cover. All right, guys, those were my picks for today. If you'd like to see my Europa Soccer League picks for tomorrow, please check out that individual video for those picks. I'm Angela. I'm out of here, guys. Take care and good luck.